Uh, Madam President, thank you. $28 trillion. 9700 dollars per person. Madam President, it's common for members of this Senate to stand on the Senate floor and debate the price tags of spending bills and legislation that costs millions, billions, and even trillions of dollars. These numbers are so large that for many people, perhaps even for us, it's incomprehensible and unrelatable to. Today, I'd like to take a moment to talk about dollars and cents. In Kansas, the current average price for a gallon of gas is $3.09. Last year, the average cost per gallon of gas in Kansas was $1.93. This means filling up a 15-gallon tank will cost you an extra $17 every time you fill up your car at the pump. If you fill up your vehicle once a week, that's an additional $904 spent on gas this year as opposed just to last year. Electricity prices are up 5.2% this year. The average monthly uh, electric bill for a residence in Kansas last year was $113.52. A 5% increase is an additional $68 per family. This winter is going to be expensive for American families, particularly in the Midwest, as households are expected to see their heating bills jump as much as 54% compared to last winter, making it the most expensive winter since 2008. Thanks to inflation, the price of eggs is up 9.9%. A used car is going to be about 24% more expensive. Chicken is 7.2% uh, increased in cost and price. And in fact, these realities are being reflected by the media uh, across the country. Newsweek headlined, your Thanksgiving turkey could be the most expensive ever. MSNBC, Thanksgiving is now less than a month away and it's shaping up to be the most expensive meal in the history of the holiday. CBS News, on the table for Thanksgiving this year, higher food prices. NBC News, this Thanksgiving be prepared to fork over more dough for your feast. And the New York Times, this year's Thanksgiving feast will wallop the wallet. This is horrible news for almost every Kansan, for every American, and it's especially damaging to those who are already struggling to pay the bills because their hard-earned do dollars just don't go far enough now. An extra $17 at the gas pump or $68 on an electric bill and an extra 50 cents here and there quickly adds up for middle-class and low-income families to be a major challenge. These dollars add up to tough decisions like will we be able to make our mortgage payment this month? Do we forego a Thanksgiving meal this year so we can keep the heat on? Can we afford to make the drive across the country to see the grandparents for the holidays? The current trajectory for inflation doesn't look good either. Treasury Sec Secretary Janet Yellen said on Sunday that the United States hasn't experienced the recent inflation levels in a quote long time and expects higher inflation to continue into 2022. Part of inflation, significant portion of inflation is caused by government spending. And the Democrats' out of control spending and, and policies have sped up the rate of inflation, creating these higher prices for families. In particular, President Biden's effort to restrain American oil and gas production. It's not a, this one's not about spending, but it's about policy. So President Biden's efforts to restrain American oil and gas production, while oddly, hip hypocritically, strangely appealing to OPEC to increase the global oil supply in the face of high gas prices at home, has resulted in higher energy prices, which could drive inflation even higher in the months to come. It's time for Congress to turn off the spending spigot. Democrats' nearly $2 trillion spending package passed at the beginning of this session. Uh, in January did nothing to help with our labor shortage or improve the supply chain and instead accelerated inflation around the country. We've been slow to turn that spigot off and we've exacerbated it since the arrival of a Democrat majority and a, and a President Biden in the White House. Democrats are awfully busy trying to fulfill their campaign promises by passing their tax and spending spree to worry. They're just too, too busy to worry about the damage they're causing to American families. More spending will only exacerbate our current inflationary circumstances and the path that Democrats have charted 
involve massive amounts of spending that will lead to higher prices for everyone. As Americans face higher prices at the gas station and grocery store, we must work at fixing our supply chain issues, returning to being energy independent, helping Americans return to work, and reining in our spending to slow down the rate of inflation. This out of control spending is jeopardizing our economy and hurting Americans. To my colleagues, rather than assuming a mandate, to my Democrat colleagues in particular, rather than assuming a mandate by the voters and pushing the tax and spend spree legislation with 51 votes, let's work together. Let's work together to let government, to get government spending and borrowing in check. This will be done. If this is done, it'll be done for the well being of all Americans. Madam uh, President, I yield the floor. The absence of a quorum. The clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin.